Greetings, Imperial citizens. Thank you for choosing to watch. I'm Anthony. Be sure to stay tuned to the end to find out how to win this Retro Collection Prototype Boba Fett. In this communique, I'm looking at the Vintage Collection's first Gaming Greats offerings. The Shadow Trooper, Scout Trooper, Electro Staff Purge Trooper, along with the Heavy Battle Droid. Hey, what am I doing here? The Shadow Stormtrooper, from the Force Unleashed video game series, is a much needed update of the 2010 Toys R Us exclusive, The Force Unleashed figure. This time, we get the Shadow Stormtrooper using the near perfect VC-140 body, and therefore, extremely poseable. It comes with both an E-11 blaster and a DLT-20A blaster rifle. My only gripe? You guessed it, no holster. The Scout Trooper is based on Jedi Fallen Order and is a repaint from the 2012 Toys R Us exclusive speeder bike set. Based on the video game, the Scout Trooper comes with a harness and an electro baton with shock effects. Mystifyingly, it doesn't include an EC-17 blaster pistol. Maybe Hasbro ran out by including two with the Toys R Us speeder bike set. Here are the paint application variances. The Electro Staff Purge Trooper is also based on the Jedi Fallen Order video game. It's a repainted clone trooper based on the updated Vintage Collection sculpts, using a newly sculpted Airborne Trooper helmet. Its weapon is a three-part staff with shock effects. It comes with a pauldron that you could remove and a cloth karma, which required an updated belt. Both the Shadow Storm Trooper and Electro Staff Purge Trooper enjoy full ranges of articulation. While the Shadow Storm Trooper contains a double-jointed head, the Purge Trooper is a ball socket. Both contain ball-jointed wrists, elbows, and shoulders, ball-jointed torso, and hips, but the Shadow Trooper employs additional swivel hip articulation. Finally, both carry ball-jointed knees and ankles. That's 30 points over 17 areas for the Shadow Storm Trooper, and 27 points over 14 areas for the Purge Trooper. The Scout Trooper contains slightly less articulation, with 25 points over 14 areas. Double-jointed neck, ball-jointed shoulders and elbows, but swivel wrists, ball-jointed torso, hips, knees, and ankles. It's a sharp-looking figure, but with the high-quality tooling we're getting 11 years since its release, I'm wondering if it's time for an all-new Scout Trooper sculpt. Also included is a heavy battle droid from Battlefront 2, based on VC-78. These battle droids have 13 points of articulation over 13 areas. Ball jointed head, sliding neck post, hinged neck, ball jointed shoulders, hinged elbows, ball jointed hips, and hinged knees and ankles. It comes with an E5 blaster, a DLT-19 rifle, a backpack, and an additional antenna to denote command battle droids. Overall, great set of army builders. And that's all for this communique. Now, if you want to win this prototype Boba Fett, you must be a subscriber and leave the following comment below. He's worth a lot to me. Winner will be drawn one week from the posting of this video. And now, it's time for you to do your part for the Empire. Like, subscribe, share, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and await the next transmission.